Hey, good morning, Keystone. Good to see everybody. Hope you're having a hope you're having a great day. I just I just wanted to bring a quick thought this morning. You know, recently was a big day, a big celebration for our family. August 25th, 1995, uh, Pam and I and Bobby and Jenna and Mandy, who were just girls at the time, uh, moved here to the Pittsburgh area, specifically Cranberry Township, to begin a church planting ministry. And so I wanted to celebrate on that day. <clears throat> so I called, all, I called all the kids and I said, hey, if you guys would like to come over, I'd love for you too. I, I, I want to serve you. You guys, have, you guys have all worked so hard. I want to serve you. I, I, I want to prepare a big meal. Now, Pam guided me through the meal, but worked all that day trying to prepare a meal uh, to celebrate. You know, and I, I'm just very, very thankful for the opportunity that God has given us to serve since in, in these 25 years uh, of living here. And I just want to share a little bit of scripture with you found in the book of Romans chapter 10. And this is actually a message. It's a scripture that I preached in 57 different churches in 1995, early part of 1995, before we moved here while we were raising support. The scripture comes from Romans chapter 10, verse 13. It says, for whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. But then he goes on in verse 13, to, or verse 14 rather, to say, How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except, it be print, except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace, and bring glad tidings of good things. And my thought here is that in these days, you know, when we moved here 25 years ago, we wouldn't have anticipated something like a pandemic. We wouldn't have anticipated what we're seeing in our culture today. But we did we did find ways to serve. And people ask, how, how do you start a church? And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really know the answer to that question. The only thing we knew to do was love people and, and, and try to preach the Word of God. And so in this day and time where many people are looking, there's a lot of uncertainties nowadays. And when people find out I'm a pastor, they're asking me questions about end times. Is Christ coming soon? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know the answer to that question any more than anybody else knows. Certainly there are signs that it looks like he could at any time. Uh, but I don't know the answer to that question. But I know this much, that people are looking and people are searching. And so during these days, it's very easy to become inner-focused and focus on how much of a struggle this is for us personally. Or we can look for opportunities to serve. The word preacher simply means to proclaim. It doesn't mean that you have to be an ordained minister. It doesn't mean you have to be standing behind a pulpit on Sunday morning facing a congregation. It just simply means proclaiming. And proclaiming our story, proclaiming what God has done for us is one way of doing that. So I want to encourage you during these days to try to focus on, rather than how challenging or difficult these days are, focus on finding opportunities to serve, opportunities to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Whatever that might be, it may be simple as an act of kindness, because people are, people are being unkind to one another nowadays. It could just simply be a simple act of kindness when you don't really feel like being kind. So let's search for opportunities and let's find opportunities to share the gospel. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But how will they call on him of whom they have not believed? And how will they believe in him of whom they have not heard? That's the key. we got to get the message out. Let me pray with you. Father, thank you for the opportunity to serve you. Thank you for 25 years of church planting ministry that you have given my family here in the Pittsburgh area. Lord, we have loved serving in Cranberry. We've loved serving here in Greensburg. And Lord, this is a day where we need to let our light shine. We need to, we need to do acts of kindness and, 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 and just sharing your word with, with folks. And so, Father, we, we know that not everybody's going to receive it. In fact, there'll be more that won't than will. But you still tell us to share the word and to proclaim the word. And Father, that's what we want to do. So, Lord, would you use it? Help us to use these days, Lord, to look to you for growth. And during these days, it's easy to be depressed. It's easy to be anxious. 
But God, help us to use these days to look to you for strength and guidance. Lord, we love you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a blessed day.